question Tell me what you think about me I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings Only ring your celly when I'm feeling lonely When it's all over, please get up and leave Question, tell me how you feel what's up and welcome back to another video and if you are new welcome to girl Tina. so today's vlog is going to be a maintenance vlog i haven't filmed one in a really long time because all my maintenance appointments are usually like just whenever one needs to be done and it's never like all together um but today i have a facial book i haven't gotten a facial in a really long time if you guys have been keeping up with my vlogs and you know like my skin will get good and then I'll break out and then I pick at it. It's just like a roller coaster. Um, I haven't had a facial in like two years. I'm not hungry as soon as I wake up anymore. So I'm just going to grab some Starbucks. Um, and then tomorrow I have my nail appointment, which I cannot wait because three of my nails are broken. Um, look at this one, you guys. Do you see that crack? It's about to hurt. And I'm trying to prevent that, okay? The outside is so ugly and gloomy. Ignore my tripod. I was taking pics last night. <laughs> I'm just going to throw on my fragrance. Beach Walk by Replica by Maison Margiela. It smells good as fuck. It smells I almost forgot how good this smells. It's a very, like, fresh, sun-kissed smell. It smells so good. I'm just... <laughs> All right, I'm overdoing it. <laughs> I am overdoing it. I'm gonna keep my headband on because like, I don't want my hair in my face so that she can really get in everything and my frontal's looking a little crazy right now. Hopefully I'm getting my hair done this week too. So I ended up wearing my hat because I'm just, I don't know. It's cute and it's raining. So um, thank God I wore my hat, but I didn't get to go to Starbucks because the one that I usually go to, I just did not want to wait in that line. And then there's no other closer ones. There's one around here, but it's not a drive through And honestly, I'd rather be early than be late. Plus, I'm trying to get some content. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing since he slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fucking not, I keep the quality in my shorty back. Wait, so... Extraction for the nose? Nose, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then, then the rest of your face, I do a peel. Okay. Is that to, okay? To target the hyperpigmentation. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay. I, cool. Sorry, I don't really know no. <laughs> like what to do. <laughs> no, I got you, off. for sure. Okay. Okay, come up a little bit more for me. So we're going to do the perfect derma peel today then, okay? Okay. Closer for sure, and then you can turn it up a lot more if you want. Look at it again. A little tingly, but it doesn't hurt. Tolerable? Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> Show. I got a peel. This did not go as planned at all. But I mean, also, when you go to a professional and you think you are ready for a certain type of service, and they're like, hmm, I don't think so. <laughs> well, she wasn't saying that. She was saying I could do a facial and then come back and do a peel. 
and like we could have did extractions and all that stuff but she's like you don't really have much to extract one and two we should probably focus on y'all know i've been complaining about my hyperpigmentation and like breakouts and shit for a while so i'm gonna get some starbucks because i'm hungry and then i'm gonna go home and do some work <sighs> i just got some like really annoying news so like i just don't even want to vlog right now <laughs> Child, let me go get the Starbucks. I need coffee too. Not helping with my moodiness right now. I haven't eaten. So yeah. I just got my start. I didn't just get it. But I got a phone call, so sorry. I didn't get to like, you know, show you guys when I was at Starbucks, but I ordered a matcha, what's new. I got the I got an iced green tea matcha. Oh what? I got an iced matcha green tea latte with an extra scoop of matcha, oat milk. Um, instead of doing, I if you watched my last vlog, I got it with the cold foam. I ditched the the sweet cream cold foam this time because one, I'm just trying to chill on like the extra calories and the dairy. And this time I did two pumps of chai, one pump of vanilla. It is definitely not nearly as sweet as I usually get it, but it's still good. Very smooth, creamy. It's like the perfect amount of sweetness. If you like sweet matcha. I definitely recommend getting um, the sweet cream cold foam because it makes it a lot sweeter. But that was my first time ever getting a peel. This side of my face, I literally never break out. I don't know what it is, but this is my problematic side. So, um, she said on the third and fourth day, it's going to peel. It's going to be pretty extreme. Um, it's going to last about seven days. And she also said... I'm not supposed to put anything on my f She gave me a whole little goodie bag. Let me start with that. So she has her own skincare brand called One Skin. So she literally gave me a moisturizer, sunscreen, and then two towelettes. So I'm supposed to keep whatever's on my face until tomorrow morning, wash my face with cold water. Then I go in with one of the towelettes. There's two in here. So I go in with one of the towelettes, then dry my face, put on the SPF, and then 30 minutes later, I put on the moisturizer. So huh. I'm nervous, y'all. I, I just wanted to update you guys on what my skin is looking like right now. Super glazed. Um, I just showered, and I'm going to... Just watch the show before I go to bed. Make some tea. I have my nail appointment, lash appointment, and pedicure in the morning. Um, I feel like my face is getting kind of red. I literally cannot wait for those to be gone. But yeah, this is what my skin's looking like right now. Like a glazed, not tomato, but glazed. I don't know. It's giving flesh tone. Oh,
guys it's later in the day I got my nails done today my nails are fire let's start with that and I did white toes it's so funny because I took a picture of my hands and my toes and the amount of DMs that I got from you guys sounding concerned you guys are almost concerned that I got white toes that's how well you guys know me with my French tips okay but you know what it's it, it I still love it but I've been killing it to the ground to the point where I was just like, just to actually do something new, I did it. But also, I just felt like, honestly, it's only right to do white toes with this because it literally matches rather than French tips. So that's why I did them. And they actually look really, really good. I haven't had white toes in like over a year, honestly. <laughs> so um, they look real good. My toes looking real suckable. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah i had um my morning didn't go as planned because i accidentally overslept and i was still really tired when i woke up this morning also my shirts came in from essence i ordered these a while ago and i just put this one on i ordered it in white and black this is so cute i didn't know that the material was this like super spandex like second skin material it makes me love it even more it's it just oh for my short to torso girls okay you're good um i got it in white and black um yeah and i didn't even you know what's funny i didn't even know what i was doing to my nails until i sat down and i actually had to find a new inspo i found these today while she was filling my nails because i don't know i just didn't know what i was doing and it just turns out that it matches my whole outfit everything's just a vibe yes it is but also this is what my skin is looking like. My lace is lifting. This is what my skin is looking like for day two. I was just looking at some TikToks to see, like, what my skin's supposed to be looking like. So your skin actually starts peeling on, like, the third day. The box that I showed you guys that she gave me, it literally says, like, day three to six. Your peeling starts day three. So, like, I'm okay right now. My skin feels very tight. And when I woke up this morning, it was like kind of itchy, not super itchy, but like I was just like going like this when I woke up and then I rinsed with cold water. I'm going to show you guys what I did to my skin this morning because she gave me two towelettes. So I have one more left and I'm just supposed to put it on 30 to 60 minutes before going to bed. 
so yeah i want to show you guys that before because after that that's it i just rinse my face and apply the sunscreen and moisturizer but that's what i wanted to show you guys this morning but i was rushing unfortunately um and also i know this is a maintenance vlog you know like for all things beauty but i have been ordering i don't order food like this and i'm actually disgusted because i don't like for my mental health <laughs> and to save myself stress and beating myself up about it i'm not even going to calculate how much money i've spent on uber eats and doordash for the past two and a half weeks not every single day but most days hmm i could have bought groceries like twice or three times maybe not three times but i could have bought groceries twice and had a little money left over so i was just like no it's done we're done yeah, this is a maintenance vlog where, you know, we're maintaining the skin, the nails, the lashes, but it's it's time to maintain the fridge. Okay, because my fridge was looking real empty, but I did groceries, just unpacked, and she's looking pretty good. I left some stuff in the car because it was just, it was a lot. Anything that doesn't have to be refrigerated is in the car because I, like, my fridge was literally on E. I actually look like a yeah there we go this is what my skin looks like I'm gonna get started on this food I'm gonna watch a YouTube video so yeah so it is day three the peeling has started when I woke up I had just like over here but now I'm starting to peel it's not that bad to do like the skincare so i hope this isn't that big of a deal but i was supposed to use the second towelette which is the last towelette that i have i told you guys 30 to 60 minutes before going to bed i fell asleep so i didn't do that but i'm gonna do it now and i asked you guys on instagram like about your experience with the chemical peel and how long it lasts a lot of people said a week some people said 10 days two weeks but it depends on the extremity of the peel that you got because there's different levels by the seventh day i should be done peeling but we're gonna do some skincare real quick You've been getting on me on the bank. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I'm so annoying. That's my song for these instructions. This is what comes in. Vigorously apply the second post peel towelette to the treated areas. Leave the solution on overnight. Oh, wait. You guys wanted to see on Instagram. Okay. Let me just take a quick Instagram video. Here's a close up. This looks nasty. <laughs> Let me wash my hands first. Oh my god, I literally hate washing my face with um when I have sleeves because I just don't want it to get wet. I'm gonna change anyways after, but let's do this. <laughs> Apparently, the key is to keep your skin moisturized. I can't feel. I'm about to put this on. Because I hate when my hair is like in the way. <laughs> it's itchy. I'm not going to lie. It is itchy. It is so fucking itchy. I catch myself like itching it sometimes. It's my skin coming off for me. <laughs> Okay. Ew. What's this? Something's red. Why does it look like I'm bleeding? That looks like blood. Oh, you guys can't see it. It's like red. It's pink. Okay, well, you guys can't see it, but it looks like blood. I don't know what that's from. What is that from? Why is why is it red? Maybe it's the I'm an idiot. It's 
have a tint on my face. It's like super yellow. So you're, she said you literally keep rubbing this on your face until it's super dry, like dried out. So I was supposed to do this last night. I hope this isn't like ruin any. Woo! Ow, it's burning. Jesus, it feels hot. Like super tingly. It's not that bad. Woo, 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 woo. Huh. Okay, get everywhere. This stinks. Oh my God. My melanin coming off on the paper. <laughs> That's what's on it. It's my melanin. That is so crazy. Uh, that is so crazy. Okay, so we're gonna leave this on for like, the fact that it says to leave it on like overnight, it's giving like hours and hours. So I'm gonna put it on in like three hours or so. I don't even know what I wanna eat. I'm not even gonna lie y'all, like I have not been feeling breakfast food for like a really long time. So I think I'm just gonna go straight to lunch and have some leftover tacos because I made a lot of ground beef and those tacos were bussing. So I'm gonna do that and I have to um, submit some work, sign, sign some contracts, make some selects for some products and stuff uh, for some campaigns I have coming up. So, I mean, this is a maintenance vlog. So I don't know how long I'm gonna vlog because I don't know if I'm getting my hair done this week. So if so, then we're gonna add a hair to that list and then that's everything. Um, I do want to get my brows done, but honestly guys, I don't get my eyebrows done often like at all I do want to try getting a tint again though. So if I can get that done this week Then maybe I was gonna do a vajayshul So if I can also find that then I just haven't um, Found anywhere that has availability This week, but this is what we're looking like my skin's a little tingly right now It hurts when I do that, like tingles-ish. Sorry guys, we're back to Auntie Angle. It's itchy and I'm like itching it without realizing. So, it does say though, um, if you are experiencing irritation, apply a small amount of the post peel moisturizer two to three times daily. So, because that is the case, I can still apply this. So I'm gonna apply the moisturizer and then I'm gonna rinse this off when I wake up, AKA just in a couple of hours. It's already been like two hours since I put it on, so. Mm. My skin is in my hand. Anna Annabelle just messaged me. She's the one that recommended me to Felicia, the Toronto esthetician. But Annabelle just messaged me and she's like, your results after are gonna be amazing. Like your skin's gonna look so good after. I'm thinking the lotion would like melt the dry skin, but it's not really helping. This sounds fine. I think it's because, actually, you know what? I don't know what I'm talking about. But obviously, you know, all the scars and shit over here. Looking like it's very tingly. I'm not even gonna lie. We'll see what it looks like tomorrow. So, yeah. Anyways, I gotta go continue doing some work and editing a video. Hey guys, it's a little bit later in the day, and I just wanna show you guys what my face is looking like. I just put some lotion right here. It was like all peeling here. My eye, like the corner right here is like burning and I don't, nor my, my, my lace closure, please. It looks like it's cut. Like, I don't know, it's like burning. I had to put some lotion there. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more moisturizer, but I'm actually about to head to my mom's house. It hurts, like when I do this, it like, it's kind of sore. 
I'm so like cranky right now. Oh my god. Okay, going in circular motions is not it, clearly. This is like actually so gross. Hooch. Mm. Yeah, my skin's like just it feels very raw. But the lotion definitely, definitely helped. I had a really bad breakout here and it was dark and it came off. So that means this is probably gonna come off too. Cause this was like a deep like tissue. Breakout. I just had my workout. Just took a shower and washed my wig. She was looking greasy. I'm gonna reapply my wig if you guys are wondering. Okay, don't roast me, please. But I wanted to give you guys a chemical peel update. I'm really feeling my results. I still had some pieces like peeling over here and you're not supposed to pull or peel or anything. So I really didn't stop fully peeling until today, yesterday. So mine was about eight days. But my skin basically looks back to normal. All the scars that I had are gone. And yeah, I know you're supposed to get like a couple. I don't need any more because I just don't think I need a chemical peel. I just needed like a restart to my skin because my skin was going bad and those scars. But overall, I have pretty good skin, you know, so I don't need, it's nothing that I can't control as long as I'm not picking at it, sipping my makeup, drinking my water and all that stuff. So a couple of you guys actually said that you broke out after. Um, someone also said that their skin purged after and my, I'm pretty sure that's what is happening to my skin in these two spots right here. And they literally just popped up like last, yesterday evening. So I think that's my skin purging. My esthetician said to keep using the post peel moisturizer and it does say in the instructions that if you're Caucasian to use the peel for another week and then if you're Asian, African American or I forget what they said, but every other race, if you make Caucasian, to use it for two weeks. So I'm gonna use that. And she also said moving forward, please make sure that you are wearing your SPF. Because I wear it, but to me it's like I wear it if I know I'm actually like I don't wear SPF on a regular basis. I'm gonna be completely honest, okay? It's also because where I live, but I realize it doesn't matter. You need SPF all the time. I do have the Fenty moisturizer that is literally like a sunscreen and moisturizer in one. So if not that, either way, I just need to start wearing SPF regardless of which one I decide to put on before putting on my moisturizer. So I need to start remembering to do that. Um, I do wanna try Black Girl sunscreen, but anyway, so I do have some blemishes here where I want to get some extractions. And I'm like so tempted to pick at it, but like that's how we ended up getting to the point where I needed a chemical peel in the first place. But it's the same spot. So the scars are gone, but there's actually stuff in there, which is why I've been picking at them. But every time I pick at them, it scars, it fades, and the actual blackhead or whitehead or whatever it is is still in there so clearly it's above me like this is not something i need to be doing so i want to go back and get a facial and have her extract those because i just i don't want to see it so i'm back to using my face wash and i've really been liking the kate somerville one i got this in pr like two weeks ago and i've been using it since um i really really like it this is the eradicate daily foaming cleanser it's for acne prone skin I have been loving this toner. I, I don't know if I used it in my last thing, but I've been loving. I love First Aid Beauty, so no surprise. But.
know you wanna be somebody Even if you gotta leave somebody guys it's later in the day um i'm about to go in my hot tub i don't know the, i didn't even drink that much last night but today just has me feeling i don't know girl just kind of lazy so i'm gonna go in my hot tub for a little bit and just vibe out and play some music I should I'm okay, but my hair, you know, she's looking a little rough, but it's because I told you guys I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. Y'all will not believe what I'm doing right now. Why am I about to boil my bundles? I can't remember the last time I I did this, or I've done this. Oh, I couldn't get any fresh hair. I asked like three people, which is fine. I kind of waited last minute. So I have hair, watching YouTube videos on how to revive old hair. But I have some bundles here. I just combed out all of these, took the thread out right there, which is from that bag. I'm gonna have some more hair over here. I have more than enough hair. So I should not be buying bundles. All this hair that I have purchased over the past year is all from, you guys know my girl, Aaliyah, um, her hairline. She doesn't have hair either right now. She's one of the people that I asked. I actually asked her first, obviously. <laughs> but, um,. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, I bought, some of these I've reused because you guys know I've gotten maybe what, three or four sew-ins within the past year. So the one that I just took out from the side part is too short. I just know I want it to be, I don't care for it to be super long, but you know, like a little 22, 20, 22 on me actually is like here. This is 24, I think. I'm five feet, so yeah, still pretty long on me. I do not take care of my bundles because... I'll take out my sewing and then I just throw it in a bag. That's why I have four bags with just hair. As you guys can see, this hair is more fresh and it's very soft. So like, I'm good. Okay, I only saw one girl shampoo it first and then put conditioner and deep conditioner in the pot. I already have the pot boiling. And then some people just threw it in there with the deep conditioner. I also watched Sophiology's video and she used a silicone mix like a lot of people did. How do you guys revive your bundles? Like, please put me on. I've definitely invested a good amount of money into all these bundles. So um, I would like to take care of them. I don't know why, like why I'm trying to waste money right now. But I don't have no silicone mix. And from watching a couple videos, people said you don't need it. Just get a good conditioner. I have my shampoo and then I have my Aunt Jackie's. There's not much in it. looks like there's a lot, but there's really not. And I have this uh, Garnier Fructis Damage Repairing One Minute Hair Mask. So honestly, I feel like I should use this because there's a lot left. All right, so I just realized I didn't have conditioner. They use a regular conditioner and a deep conditioner. So for conditioner, um, I have this, which I don't want to use on my bundles. I'm not going to lie. So I'm not going to use this on my bundles. It's almost done, but I use this on my natural hair if I'm not using the Courtesy Naturals conditioner. So I'm going to just save that. This is like empty, but I'm going to empty whatever is still in here in the pot. And then I have this conditioner that I got from Lush that they sent me. I'm pretty sure. Girl, this is empty. Okay. Moving on to... I'm just going to use this one. This smells so good. Sweet Tonka scented softness with glossy macadamia and Brazil nut oils. Girl, that's exactly what it smells like. 
deep treatment mask. A little bloop bloop. <laughs> this is such a nostalgic moment for me right now. Like this is actually crazy. I'm just throwing that all in there. And then these are like the more fresh looking. This right here is like super silky. Like I don't even think I used this one yet. Probably got left out of my sewing. All right, so it's been like, what, 25, 20, 25 minutes. What a black. So I detangled, dried, and laid down the hair. So I will say these ones up here, super. So this is obviously the newer hair that I purchased like last year for sure. Like it's so soft. Like I just know when it dries, it's gonna feel like I, I just bought fresh hair. And I'm hoping, I'm pretty sure this is enough for my sewing. Like, I'm like more than sure, especially because I have a small head. Every hairstylist has told me this. But yeah, I'm gonna dry this or let this air dry. My hair is so dirty. Oh my goodness. Like, I cannot wait to get my trim. My like ends are so bad. Insane. Like, the shrinkage is just crazy. Damaged but curl definition, you know, she's in there somewhere. Anyways, I just need to, I don't know how I'm gonna select my hair. The frizz is insane, like, I'm like stressed. <laughs> All right, so it's time for my laser appointment. You guys, laser is the best money I've ever spent in terms of like hair removal. I wish I had. Hopped on this way laser way sooner. On the screen, of I used course, to spend seven hundred dollars a year. It is on a black girl melanin monthly. friendly. Um, but this is a I couple of you guys have actually session, messaged me saying that you by now I would have been that you are so you know, happy ready with your summer. results and you love um, her. But I actually I messed my up my own hair and she tells me about you guys as well. I stopped coming um, consistently. So yeah, last summer around by August, summer I should be good. I will say you guys want a little update. I didn't like I get laser get my service when I came back. And then my, I like, left again. Um, my results. So we my are legs, back on I don't top shape. of that. What's um, I'm going every six My bikini eight area, weeks. the top part, bikini and line. I go to level really growing as much. Um, only the lips. I feel like the lips are like just, the hair just wants to, you know, <laughs> be stubborn. Um, I get my whole body lasered now. So I don't really grow hair like that, like I used to. It's actually crazy and beautiful. So yeah. As y'all can see, she's getting, she gets everything, okay? She's in between the cheeks, making sure everything is nice and smooth. Shout out to my girl, Aki. able to get a hair appointment a couple days later which I was really excited about because y'all could tell that I really needed my hair done um, so I got a wash treatment trim and a sew-in I have not been to a professional hair salon to get like my hair washed or even treated in like almost four years and I was you guys are about to see I knew my ends were bad but I did not know I knew but I don't know we had to cut off a lot. I was not prepared for that. I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't show the finished look of my blowout before she started cutting because y'all, we, we cut off like maybe <laughs> three, four inches, something like that. But I was pretty down about that, but I mean, it's hair, it grows back. And that's what happens when you don't consistently take care of your hair. You don't keep up with your trims. Clearly, I was not doing that. <laughs> she literally blow dried my hair and was like, we're gonna have to do a lot of cutting. Like, it's very uneven. My hair was all over the place. It just didn't even make sense. 
if you guys have been keeping up with my vlogs you guys know i do oil my scalp i do treatments with my aunt like with her hair products which have really helped with the health of my hair like so much but you know we all know if you're actually trying to grow your hair and like retain length you have to get proper trims she did clip my ends twice last year but even then we didn't cut off everything that needed to go because i don't know why i wanted to salvage it it's not worth it not to mention she herself has told me i need to go get a proper trim so yeah so this is just a reminder to make sure you're keeping up with your regular trims otherwise those split ends will travel all the way up the hair follicle and you'll end up having to cut way more off than you wanted to like even you can see on the right side of my hair she was telling me it's way shorter i didn't even realize how much short, like my hair was just all it was a hot mess guys um especially the top but that's because that's where i would get my side part sew-ins on i always do them on that side which is also why it's so important to switch up your hairstyles and that's why i was getting a middle part too so yeah i am going to be coming back to get a silk press and like a, a bob style in about two or three months so she was like you know what i'm not going to cut the left side like exactly as short as the right we'll see how much it grows out and then when you come for that silk press we'll even it out and I think I'm also going to maybe dye my hair black. Just so you know, you guys know, blunt cut bobs just hit better when it's black. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to check in and say that because I know I gave no context. And yeah, you guys can just enjoy the rest of this vlog of me getting my hair done. Question, tell me what you think about me. I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings. Only ring you sell it when I'm feeling lonely. When it's all over, please get up and leave Question, tell me how you feel about this Try to control me, boy, you get dismissed Pay my own car, no, and I pay my own bills Always 50-50 in relationships The shoes on my feet Because I took a nap. I was, I don't know why. I've, I think it's the whole pampering thing. I haven't gotten my hair washed at a salon in like four years. I haven't gotten a trim by a professional in like four years since I moved in here. I've gotten trims, but it's like either me clipping my ends or my aunt. And I regret that so much because if you guys saw in the video, the amount of hair that I have to cut off, like, I'm sad, but I'm also, like, I'm, like, relieved. Because um, the other day, I co-washed and blow-dried my hair just so that I could break, put my wig back on. And I was, like, my ends were, like, I was, like, no. It was disgusting. So it needed to go. This time, I'm going to take proper care of my hair. Girl whatever it's hair it grows back so i'm not even tripping or anything but listen do you see this hair you see this middle part this is me okay i'll do a wig you know every now and then i'm gonna switch up my hairstyles but i'm really gonna focus on growing out my hair i kind of slept on my hair a little bit i have a flexi rod in because i just started putting it in and i'm like wait let me vlog so <laughs> I'm just gonna continue to do this. Baby, do you see this hair? Oh God, I, love, I just love a middle part. I just love a full, natural sew-in with loose curls. It's just everything. I ended up just re just washing and reusing my Indian raw bun or raw Indian bundles from AS Hair Collection. 
yeah it's fire um but anyways yeah i'm gonna like continue putting these flexi rods in and we'll see how they look in the morning i was gonna do some skincare because i really need to do some skincare but i'm just so tired that we're just gonna do that in the morning i just i, I need to go to bed